Oh my God. Nobody cut themselves. Oh. What's up everybody? It's Lauren back here uh, in the Hot For Food kitchen, the temporary Hot For Food kitchen. Uh, today we're coming in with something special for you. I know I haven't been here in a while, but thanks for sticking around and watching. And I invited some special guests for a little evening recipe or level up your leftovers as I've been calling it lately. And joining me in my kitchen today are the Bros Fresh. Hey. Torrance and Thurman, what's up? Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah. Thurman from, here, Torrance. Yeah, yeah. From Louisiana, yes, visiting yes. LA, and I'll just quickly tell them why, like, why are we standing here together? <laughs> it was a great synchronistic turn of events. My boyfriend, Mike, who's behind the camera, he was doing a spec with you guys here in LA for some fun, maybe, TV show you will have in the future. And then I looked you up, I thought you looked hella cool, I loved your sound, your music. These guys are musicians, entrepreneurs, uh, non-profit CEOs fashion icons, <laughs> and I was like, who are these guys? They're so cool. And then they messaged me going, we're also vegan. And I was like, damn, couldn't be more perfect. I was yeah, like, you gotta yeah, come yeah, cook yeah, with yeah, me. Oh God, yeah. And here we are. So once we got this opportunity, guys, like, it was a no brainer. We They're said like, absolute <laughs> yes, because how often do you get a chance to meet an amazing vegan chef? Like, one of the vegan chefs. Thank one of the vegan chefs. So, so yeah. how long have you been vegan? These but time seven, questions. Know, seven, yeah. eight years. We're gonna go with eight, but it might be more than that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going on 12. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, so you've yeah. been around the block. You've seen how it's changed. Like, oh the products have changed in just it's, your eight yes. or so Brother, years. The, the yes. coolest, because even when we started, like, the, um, like you said, the product, the amount of range mm -hmm. of options that people have, alternatives that people have, exactly, is crazy now. Like you saw the pre Beyond Me and the yeah, post Beyond, Beyond Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and get to see. The, I remember when the end of the market, like, who this? was this? Oh, what a world! Oh my god! So I told Torrance, Torrance and Thurman, they are yes. twins. Torrance has more facial hair. Thurman has less facial hair, or facial hair in a different area yeah. of his face. <laughs> I said, bring something that we can include in this recipe. That's mm -hmm. what I call this okay, segment. Okay. I used to call it recipe because we don't have a recipe. We're literally just going to look through my up. kitchen and make it up. Yep. Yes. And I said, bring me something. So what did you bring from the store? Let's I have see to incorporate. What we have here. One product, two products. Oh. Nice. Ooh, mm. hot dog, sausage. Yes. We're doing sausage. We have to incorporate smoky jack sausage from Jack and Annie's. I've never tried this. This is jackfruit. Me neither. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun opportunity. Jackfruit, soy flour, coconut oil. It's got the veggie casing, like the Beyond Meat. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so we have to use these. Thank you for bringing this. Have to. Have to. The next <laughs> thing we do, y'all, before we'll talk about you and your your fun life, but we gotta find some stuff. For Let's inspiration, so we go in the fridge. Let's go in the fridge. We moved to this Airbnb like only a couple days ago, and I brought a lot of stuff from home. So it's okay, pretty okay. well stocked. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, wait. Have you guys had dinner? Kinda, Kinda not, not really. really. So you could eat like a meal. Like if we make, it doesn't yeah. have to be like a snack. Especially if you made it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure. And how good of cooks are you? Like, is this uh, what we, you? We've been in the kitchen a few times. We could, if you tell him, like, can you do this? Right? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I, I, I can you're, boil water. Like, you supposed to know. We could do a little something. Have you ever had the just egg? Yes. Yes, 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 delicious. Yes, yes, yes. Someone's allergic to cashews. Yeah, we both, we both are. are. Oh, yeah. you, of course, because yes. you're twins. Yes. So <laughs> stay away from the cultured butter that is cashews. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think because mostly we want to transform this, so we definitely yeah. should be crumbling it or yeah. doing yeah, yeah, something, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just like cooking not, straight yeah, that's, sausage. That's too easy. I do have tortillas. I know we were kind of talking about tacos Tacos. <laughs> behind yeah, the scenes. Be yeah, what else? Do you want to see what... We've got extra black beans. I used those today. That could be handy. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair. someone Thank hold you. the beans. We have tofu, but we probably don't need tofu because we've got sausage. We yeah. need things like... Yeah, okay. So my anything? favorite thing is like using up all the like weird things in the okay, kitchen, okay, right? Okay, like yeah. avocado. Yeah. Okay, done. This like Easy. half rotten tomato. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, are, what can we do that's good. slightly different than a taco, but kind of taco-esque? Quesadilla? Quesadilla. Uh, what's the thing called? It's like a... a taquita, empanada. Yeah, because you can do a lot of... We can things. roll yeah, them into yeah, taquitos. Yeah. That would be good. Because I do have all the makings of, like, oh, yeah, taco yeah. stuff. Yeah, Jalapenos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I even have, y'all, this looks nasty, but today I did make my famous nacho cheese, and that's Ooh. the leftover. Famous nacho cheese. It's very cheese. famous. What's the base? What's the base for it? Potatoes, carrots, no nuts. Whoa! No cashews. Whoa, yeah. So it's cashew free. So we can use that up. Yes. I think my wife stole your recipe. Oh, you. nice, nice. Yes. Maybe we need some soy sauce to season the sausage, perhaps? Let's just make the filling. And then as we go, we can decide, are we going to roll? Are we going to yeah. quesadilla? Yeah. There's also a sandwich press under there. Oh. 
Look at this, the snacks. Snacks are, the snacks are five thousand. <laughs> snacks are by Toastmaster, right? So I think that could be interesting because it'll get we'll oil the tortillas and then yeah, when we press them yeah. they'll get really crispy. Yes. Let's assign one of you to chop right, some stations, onion. Stations. Onion station, Torrance, and then Thurman. Why don't we use my cast iron? Okay. And you can start crumbling the sausage. Yeah, that's um, actually pretty good. They have the casing. I'm thinking we get rid of that. Look how easy it comes off. Yeah. And I got it on like a medium heat. Are those onions gonna make you cry over there? <laughs> he likes to cut onions with his eyes closed. That's why he only has nine fingers. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me about the Bros Fresh. How long have you guys been playing the Bros Fresh, music for? Uh, we've been playing music like generally since we were 17 years old. Started out really just as like instrumentalists, like backing musicians for like other acts. So, you know, we played behind like some some pretty good sized hip hop acts and Torrance played country music for a second. And Full then, country, yeah, because people might be confused because you look like cowboys that you play country. But yeah. You're more like soul funk. Yes. Funk. Yes, we just from the country. That's yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we just started out like that, and then one of our friends, you know, he kind of pushed us. He was like, "Yeah, why don't you just try to be artists?" And I was like, "All right." Well, how I was perfectly would... fine with like just playing guitar for people. But... Right. How come you had never really thought about doing no, that? No, I never really thought about it. No, you just were really. more comfortable. Like... Yeah, but it just started out as a suggestion, and then we was like, "All right, well, let's try and figure it out." And so we did it. And, Figured it out and liked it, and we taught ourselves to sing and had some good vocal coaches and learned a lot of stuff in college. Because you guys are yeah, great yeah, singers yeah, and yeah. you harmonize. We weren't always good singers. This, yeah. We weren't always good singers. Really? So do you think anyone can learn how to sing? Yeah, do you have a voice? Anyone can learn how to sing. You hear that? You got a voice? Anybody can learn to sing. That's some good chopping. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I get, I get locked in. That's okay. Throw these in. That sausage is good. I just tried a little piece. Has a really good acidity to it and a really good texture. Does anyone want to try a piece? I kind of like it better than <laughs> said I brand know, yeah, earlier. Said brand. Said brand. Said brand. Said brand. Said Let's add a little bit more smoky paprika. Smoked paprika. Do you see it there? It has a label on it. Oh, and maybe a little bit of chipotle chili. Yes. Because I only have a little bit left anyway. Okay, oh, you, you're a <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm used to the pepperated. Uh, you know, she's an advanced chef. See, chefs, they, they don't have the, the pepperated thing it. on it. I take it off because it's a pain in the butt, that thing. What? I'm yeah, like, no, I like the safety measure. Yeah, nah. yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. It didn't need a lot, just a little. Do you think we should put just these in here? Like, just yeah, put them in? I'm also gonna go a little bit salt. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. then, then, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. That'd be Just great. a little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay, so the filling will basically be okay. we're gonna put the cheese and the onion. cheese sauce yeah, in there, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. onions, tomatoes gonna make it soggy, or do we chop that in there? That's what I'm saying. Think, or maybe keep it fresh. What do you think? Keep it fresh for the topping. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you wanna cilantro. chop some cilantro yeah. and tomato, and then we make a, like a kind of a fresh thing on top. Okay. And oh, and the avocado. If you put it in a bowl and mix it together, and we'll add salt and pepper, we'll add Add, like chop up those pickled jalapenos. I don't know where they went. Do you like? So oh, you know how some people hate cilantro? No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know okay, that. good. I mean, I don't. My mouth yeah, honestly, doesn't really <laughs> taste it like that. I don't know. <laughs> my taste buds on its train yeah, yeah. in that area. No, you know how some people are like. Yeah. People, some people really don't like. They say it tastes like dirt or like soap or whatever. Torrance has a necklace that says Tank Proof. So Tank Proof is your non for profit. Yes, yes. Tank Proof is a non profit that gives swimming lessons and food security to kids who need it most. Can you tell? I've said that a lot. Such a, yeah, you have. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a unique endeavor. Did that that started before the music? No, it started oh. after the music. Oh. So we started, started playing music in 2007, we started Tank Proof in 2011. We wanted to do something, I guess, with a little bit of like influence that we had locally in Louisiana sure. to give back to yeah. the community some kind of way. We watched this, um, this Live 8 concert that was on VH1 like years ago. You remember those concerts yeah. on VH1 years ago? Okay. So, you know, that was kind of inspiring. And then at the same time, in the northern part of our state in Shreveport, we're from southern Louisiana and in north Louisiana in Shreveport, they had like six family members that drowned because they're all trying to save one another. That was a big story. So with the inspiration from that, wanting to do something in that crazy story, we're like, okay, what can we do? Because and the idea of swimming swim lessons. Because they're yes. one yes. after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And so the so, idea of swimming lessons is yeah. like just came mm -hmm. up and we're like, all right, we're, we, we are we, not. Yeah, it wasn't our world. We yeah. had a realm, a complete realm of unfamiliarity. We didn't know where to start, right? And so 
as musicians, we did what musicians do. We were like, okay, we can, maybe we can sell some band merch or something like that, right? So, sold some band merch to, fundraise, yeah. to yeah. help raise money to help give kids swimming lessons. And we thought, okay, look, if we can raise enough money to help 10 kids, that's awesome. Pat on the back, mm -hmm. great job, blah, yeah, blah, blah, right? Yeah. But you know, the first year we raised enough to help 60 kids. Next year came back around and friends like, hey, are you guys doing that swimming thing again when you're doing the t-shirt the design and helping the kids learn how to swim? I'm like, oh, yeah, we weren't planning to, I guess let's do it again. So did it again, doubled that number to 120. Third year, 225. So we're seeing these numbers grow exponentially. We do, we're doing our research and at that time and pretty much today there's no organizations that are very few that focus on this issue specifically that can work at scale and can really impact not just you know a group of kids but mm -hmm. community we couldn't find that so we decided look let's uh let's make it let's yeah. do it i mean it wasn't one of those things like, here we're gonna make a nonprofit yeah it wasn't no it's was just something yeah. that we did it and then into something really yeah. it was more practical than anything because yeah. people yeah. that wanted to donate to us are like look we're tired of using fiscal partners you guys should get a 501c3 i'm like um okay yeah yeah every time you yeah. go into one of these adventures or ventures or journeys or yes. paths you don't know anything and you're like exactly. how am i going to do it and then you just Slowly do it just do it i think a lot of people you know i think that this the moral of the story is in our story is that like you don't have to be super qualified in order to to make change in a specific area. But to be yeah. clear, this is like generations and history of racism that contributes to the fact that yeah. you're teaching primarily black kids, I assume, yeah. Yeah. that do, they don't get swimming lessons because of being pushed out of neighborhoods yes. and then there's no pools in the yes. community yes. and then they don't learn how to swim, right? So it's yes. like layers and layers yes. and layers. Yes. People don't realize the stereotype that exists today comes from somewhere. There's actually yeah. truth behind that and there are reasons When people say black people yeah. don't know how to swim, yeah. right? Yeah. Nobody really acts why? Why? Like Why? This, yeah. You know what I mean? And like, those are the reasons. Yeah. It goes all the way to slavery. You know, it's yeah. crazy. Did you guys learn how to swim when you Yeah, were... I had a near drowning experience when I was 10. And thankfully, like our mom was in a position mm -hmm. to be able to get us lessons. But mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately Not for a lot of kids that look yeah. like us, when it comes to making decisions, like, all right, it's either clothes in your back, food on the table, or swimming lessons. Yeah. We're going to go with the other two. Yeah. But swimming lessons are, we feel, one of the most important things that any human being can learn. Like, knowing how to shoot a basketball is not going to save your life. Running a football is not going to save your life. But <laughs> learning to swim yeah. can save, save your yeah, life. Or someone else's. And so yeah. if people want to help, how can they best do if that? If people want to help or learn more or even get involved, donate, go to www.tankproof.org. That's T-A-N-K-P-R-O-F dot org. And you can learn about the organization from our roots and our origin, where we are and where we're headed. And uh, you can support on there too. Follow us on Instagram at Tank Proof. So this is our makeshift, again, using leftover tomato, cilantro. We've got half an avocado that's, I think, like not that soft, and onion. So let's check out this snackster, because this is in the Airbnb, so I don't know. I think that'll be cute. Look, it's gonna I press know, it into know. like sandwich, like triangles. <laughs> these are carb balance. I had to buy these because I'm pregnant and watching, you know, my carb yeah, intake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this will be the perfect size. Look at that. I like how you're just not afraid to like try it. Just try anything. Yeah. And usually I'm pretty confident in myself. I've never really messed up anything in one of these segments. Like ever? Even if it's like completely gone off the rails, it, it always in the good. end tastes good yeah. and is yeah. something. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you spread some of my cheese sauce on one side and then put some shredded cheese on top, okay. then some filling, then a bit more shredded cheese so that it sticks. Okay. Shredded. This shredded cheese is fine. There's no nuts in it. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh, there we go. Smooth, baby. Nice. Smooth. I want to make sure they get crispy, so I'm going to oil it. Taste better, you know? Yeah. I hope this works. It'll seal it. Ready? <gasps> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next year. So let me make mine. Yeah, Look, really see, it kind of stops steaming. Do we, oh, I'm scared. Check. Do we check? Okay, it's better. Oh, wow. Ready or a little it's longer? Like... I think it's good. Yeah, I think. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds? <laughs> 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, okay. Makes a difference, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let it cool. It's going to be hella hot. One of you do the honors and cut it in half and we'll all taste one. We'll, you can cut like three pieces. The base is amazing. Is it really crispy? Ooh. 
magma. Magma, not Bob. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's good. Yeah. No, it's good. It's nice hotness. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm. I like it. Mm. I feel oh. like it a bit crispier, but oh. it's okay. Oh good. Oh. Oh yeah. That's good, man. That's done. I like it. I might eat another I like it too. I'm glad we made like a fresh part on yeah. the top. Salsa man. We got some salsa man. That was great. We did it. We leveled up our leftovers. That's what it's all about here at Hot for Food with the bros fresh. Yeah. Hey. Maybe you'll take something away from this. I don't know. I'll take away a new recipe and that this brand is bomb. Yeah, awesome. totally. I'm glad we learned that. I'm glad you brought that. that because I wouldn't have bought it. And this is not a brand deal, guys. No, but we can show it again. There you go, Jack and Annie's. This is really good plant-based sausage. Hot some more. Approved. We got some upcoming shows. Uh, got some things going on South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. But people can find you like on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. find us on Spotify, Spotify. Find us on Instagram. Apple Music, Google Play, YouTube. Type in The Bros Fresh, one, one word. word, all caps. Go, watch, go look at their Instagram and then go download their music. The yes, bro is fresh. Yes. We're gonna keep eating our snacks, I guess, and that's yeah. that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being here. This Thank was really you fun. So much for having yeah, us. it was the most fun. Hey. Yay! Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace. Like and subscribe. <laughs>